this is part two of lesson 2.2 .2, activity two if you have not done this page two sim activity please go back and watch uh, part one and do the activity before you do before you watch this video all right so we gathered information about the number of offspring for each color trait in this data table but following just a few ostrilopes before they die is not enough for us to identify a pattern at the scale of an entire population. So to do this, we need to compare observations from multiple trials. In other words, if we were in class, I'd be asking you a bunch of different groups what the values they got here. So, um, and then we can average that data. So to do this, we are going to use the data tool. Um, so in class, I would have asked a bunch of groups to give me their numbers for their data tables, and we would have filled it out for about 10 students. So I've gone ahead and run the sim and done it 10 times, um, and I got this data set. Um, this data tool also averages, so it adds up all of blue one and then divides by 10 because there's 10 numbers adds up all of blue four and divides by 10 adds up all of yellow seven divide by 10 etc so then these are the numbers and then that is graphed over here so what we can see is that not all ostrilopes reproduce the same amount again this is that this data is showing us the number of offspring by color so not all ostrilopes rep reproduce the same amount and ostrilopes with the adaptive trait of yellow color seven reproduced more on average than ostrilopes with the non-adaptive traits of blue one blue four or yellow ten so yellow color seven reproduced more because they were they had an adaptive trait and they are more likely to survive ostrilopes with the non-adaptive traits blue one blue four and blue yellow ten reproduced less on average because they are non-adaptive so they are less likely to survive so this makes sense um if you're more likely to survive over a long period of time you're probably more likely to reproduce more often over that period of time if you're less likely to survive then if you're not alive you can't reproduce you heard all right so page three um these discussion questions um i want you to think about these discussion questions so i want you to pause this video read these questions think about your answers um and then come back and watch the video and we'll talk about them so pause it go to page three think about the discussion questions and then come back to the video all right now that you've thought about these discussion questions i'm going to talk about them so it says what patterns describe what pattern describes the relationship between how long an ostrom lived and how many offspring it had. So if I were to complete this sentence, I would probably say that ostrilopes that lived longer had more offspring, which makes sense. Which ostrilopes became more common over time and why? Ostrilopes with yellow color seven became more common because they survived longer. So they had more opportunities to reproduce and have offspring. And Conversely, the ostrilopes that became less common uh, were the ostrilopes with colors that didn't blend into their environment, like the blue color 1, 4, and yellow color 10. They became less common because they were more likely to be eaten by predators before they could have many offspring. So, if the color of the environment came blue, which ostrilopes do you think would become more or less common and why? Well, Ocelopes with blue color traits would become more common because they'd be camouflaged and survive longer. That blue color would then be an adaptive trait, um, which is like the activity we did in 
So they could have more offspring. Ocelopes with green and yellow colors would be more likely to be eaten by carnathons before they could have more offspring because yellow and green would be a non-adaptive trait. So in this activity, you observed a pattern that ocelopes that live longer had more offspring. The yellow color seven ocelopes live longer because they were camouflaged in the yellow, in the yellow environment and were less likely to be eaten by predators. So the effect of living longer was that they were able to have more offspring. So I want you to think about this claim, ostrilopes with adaptive traits are more likely to reproduce than ostrilopes with non-adaptive traits. So does our evidence support or refute this claim? So on page three of lesson 2.2, .2, activity two, answer this and then press hand in when you're done. 